People are learning all the time, in varied settings and often most effectively in the context of work itself. Training, formal learning of all kinds, channels some important learning but doesn't carry the heaviest load. The workhorse of the knowledge economy has been, and continues to be, informal learning. These are the words of Jay Cross, from his book, Informal Learning, in 2007. Most learning at work takes place outside of formal learning structures. Morgan McCall, Michael Lombardo, and Robert Eichinger developed the 70-20-10 model in the 1980s. According to the model, hands-on experience makes up 70% of learning because it enables employees to discover and refine their job-related skills, make decisions, address challenges and interact with influential people such as bosses and mentors within work settings. They also learn from their mistakes and receive immediate feedback on their performance. Early conversations about 70-20-10 were incredibly diverse. Some L&D practitioners used the model to review their approach from mostly focused on formal learning to helping people to learn on the job. For some, 70-20-10 became a target or a prescribed formula to be applied to all learning interventions. 70% had to be on the job, 20% learning from others and only 10% of an intervention should be formal learning. 70-20-10 is still widely spoken about. It is referred to at conferences and is part of the curriculum for professional qualifications for L&D. The question, however, is whether 70-20-10 is still applicable in our day. How are L&D leaders using it to inform their strategy and delivery of L&D services to their organization? Are the concerns of 70-20-10 critics justified? How has L&D's view and use of 70-20-10 evolved since it first started to gain traction 30 years ago? Whatever your view of 702010, we know you will find the webinar interesting and useful.